Good morning. Okay, so I'm up. Oh my god. I already did some reading this morning, so I already like it's called Hannah's War. And I already have like this much this much already read. I already read this or let's do it this way. And that much. Um it's an it's an okay book so far. I mean I like it. Um, I was watching uh, this one series. It was called The Man in the High Castle. And it was also um, like talking about America, Jews, Germans, and then this, you know, and, and the Reich. And, um, and this is the same thing. And um, so it's kind of like weird that I just finished watching that. And I'm kind of like right back into it reading uh, the same kind of like um content in this book <laughs> so it's kind of kind of weird um okay i'm also reading another book on um uh 1870 1884 in my uh tablet so that one i'm i'm liking already and it was called gambling for the duke's daughter something like that so far I like that one it's it's already getting becoming cutesy <laughs> so I like it um yeah so I had made some pasta yesterday and it came out really really good um I had what do you call it cooked some chicken boiled some pasta I didn't have vegetables and I had to go buy vegetables so I only have a little bit of peas and carrots. So I put that in there. I had a green pepper. So I sliced up the green pepper, put that in there, you know, to give it flavor. And, um, and then when I was done, I mixed everything together. Did add some oil so I can fry the chicken a little bit just to give it a, like a little brown color. It, it, it just gives it a nice taste. So I did that. I added the what do you call it? Um, I added some milk, uh, two tablespoons of butter, and then after I sauteed everything, I added the pasta. But then something was missing, and I was like, I grabbed some mayo and I put uh, like a couple of tablespoons of mayo in it, almonds pretty good and I mixed it all up oh my god it came out so so good so so good I, I ate about a bowl that night while it was still warm put it in the refrigerator and ate the rest like a cold salad pasta salad the next day but I think the mayonnaise got to me because oh oh man it was just giving me like weird noises were coming from my stomach and I was like what the heck you know and I was like this doesn't feel good <laughs> you know? but um, I think it was the pasta I think it was the mayonnaise I guess it was just too heavy but so I just gonna next time just gonna put less mascara it's like yeah the dries up and then it goes in my eyes especially because I had the fan going um yeah so that was good I want to make some more, but I think I'll eliminate the mayonnaise. I'll just make the chicken breast with the vegetables and and the pasta, and that's it. Um, I'm not really sure what I'm going to make today because I already I had made beef stew for the kids yesterday, so that I made that with with white rice. I did buy some more tofu. But this way, this one is not organic. It's just a regular tofu. So, firm tofu, because I wanted to see the difference. The other one was just a little bit too mushy, and I didn't really like it. So, I, I'm going to make that today. And I do have rice, so I need to use that up. Um, other than that, I think the kids are just going to have leftovers, or hot dog hamburgers, or whatever you know, is in the, um, the fridge, um, for today. Um, I do need tomato sauce, regular tomato sauce, not the tomato sauce, like Spanish tomato sauce, 
which I have a lot of cans of because I cook a lot of Spanish foods. So definitely just have to get... There's certain dishes that you could put seasoned tomato sauce in for Spanish foods. But when it comes just to regular, um, you know, regular food like tacos or or noodles, you just want the regular tomato sauce without all the other spices in there. So, and I usually just just get that from all these. I just grab like a whole can, a whole bunch of cans, like five or six, just to make sure that I have them on hand. Um, I'm always making foods that stretch, uh, mostly because I have my grandkids. So, all the foods that I make, I always have to make sure it's not always on the spot making or I don't make a whole lot of it I just make enough for that day and for leftovers because usually if you make too too much of something it'll stay in the fridge too long and then I end up throwing it out nobody eats it and it's just a waste so I don't like wasting anything that's for sure so I always make sure I make enough just for for two days and, and that's with everything with the watermelon uh, fruits vegetables well, the vegetables, if you freeze them, you don't have to worry. But if you leave them in the fridge, you know, like cucumbers, you got to make sure you eat those right away. Um, yeah, so, okay, so I'm going to finish this coffee. Almost done. Um, I did do dishes this morning. Um, I did read. Now I'm going to get on my journal. The journal's right there. So I'm going to get on my journal. I'm going to write a little bit. I was a little bit off on my journal the other day, so I didn't really do much of that. Um, well, no, I did write a lot in my journal. I just hadn't been doing it on a daily daily basis. I missed almost like a whole week or so, um, mostly because of the holiday, 4th of July. And so I was like, holy cow, I missed a lot of days. So trying to stay on top of that. And then, yeah, just trying to clean up, do what I got to do, um, trying to get back into my crafts. I did not do a crochet video last night, um, but I'm going to try to do one today um, to try to keep up with it. Um, I did make my blank. I mean, I have some of them already done, but I kind of like messed up. And instead of, well, I'll show you in the video, instead of it, me doing it a certain way, all the way across, I did them individually, and I shouldn't have done that. So, I was going to go to Walgreens and see if I could buy some more green yarn, but I said, you know what, no, I'm just going to, I just have so much white yarn, and so I'm just going to use that one up, and I'll be more, um, observant and, and more try to stay on key on, on how it's really supposed to be done and you know I'll, I'll do that I'll talk about all that in, in the video because I do want it done before the fall that's for sure um, other than that uh, I guess that's all I'm gonna do today I haven't done a Dollar Tree haul I haven't had a chance to go shopping for anything from Dollar Tree I really don't need anything from Dollar Tree, but I'm just going to go and just take a look-see. Not right now, because it's Sunday and I really don't want to go anywhere today. Um, but uh, I'll probably do that Do that during the week. I do want to go to the thrift store again. I really don't need anything from over there, but just to go look and see what they have. And I definitely have to hit... Um, the conservatory that's but that's what I've been wanting wanting to do I'm just looking at the time that's what I've been wanting to do so the conservatory I do want to take the kids to the zoo we already went to the beach so that's another um, trip on my agenda an event that not an event but a something that I want to do with the kids they don't like the zoo but I was like let's just go let's just just to get out of the house you know let's just do that probably washing my hair haven't washed my hair I hate this spot right here right here it does nothing for my hair like nothing 
And so I'm always messing with it and trying to, okay, well, maybe I'll part it here. Maybe I'll part it there. Maybe I'll go, th th I used to do my hair this way, but then I changed it to this way. And, and I don't know, I think I got this from my dad, to tell you the truth. I don't know. I don't know. I just, I just don't like the way it looks. Like, seriously, I just, I just don't. <laughs> so anyway, work, I'm going to work on that. Probably wash my, I don't know. I do have to buy some Nexus um, dry shampoo because I really, really like that stuff. Not only does it smell nice, but the Nexus dry shampoo really, it really looks like your hair is dry. Like literally, I spray it here, you know, wherever it looks greasy. I spray it, fluff it, let it dry, get the brush, it, brush it out, and it looks like I washed my hair. So I'm like, and I'm almost like, I want to have like, so much left, so I have to buy another one. But uh, other than that, that's what I'm gonna do today. So, and then I have to work out, write in my journal, think about what I'm gonna cook today. I'm not gonna go out anywhere today. I am gonna make the video for the crochet, and then probably I was thinking about doing some baking, but I'm not sure about that either. But I don't know. We'll see how today goes, and I'll probably end up writing it down or showing you guys. I don't know, but we'll see how the day goes. And, um, yeah, we'll see you later. Bye. Okay, guys, so this is what I have in the fridge right now. Um, oh, boy. Somebody's green tea is, like, frozen. Uh, I'm going to have to put this down here. Um, so, I have these sausages. I'm going to try to cook them tomorrow morning. I had to get some more vegetables. This is the only thing I got. And some lima beans. I do have more sausages here. Um, a pizza. And then I have tenders I, I do have shrimp that I will be cooking what's this oh I gotta cook these this is Johnsonville sausage chicken breast I'm gonna have to cook this ASAP because this is gonna get bad if these are um, sprouts um, and then I have, I'm going to be making some vendura, so I need to get on that ASAP. And then I have some thighs, some ice cream. This is almost like gone. And then I have pork chops and more ground. These are ground beef. Um, hamburgers and sausage patties. Um... So, right now, in the fridge, I have to get more milk. I'm running low on milk. I have leftovers over there. Pickles, hot dogs, a cucumber. I did buy limes. This is pork stew, so I'm not going to be cooking today. I have hot dogs in there. And some lettuce, celery, limes, tortillas. But what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna make myself um, a sandwich right now. And this is black pepper turkey, which tastes so, so good. I'm gonna have make it with tomato and um, lettuce and mustard, because I don't really don't care for um, to have mayonnaise in my sandwich. I like mustard, but right now I have to get rid of this. I am making noodles. This is Spanish noodles. And I'm making this for for the kids for, for lunch. So that's what I'm doing right now. And then I'm gonna get uh, going on my um, sandwich. Uh, Cause I am hungry. So, the bread I usually use, 
I'm going to be using those chips right there. They're like, what are they? Um, uh, party size onion. They're like sour cream and onion. So I'm going to have a few of those. And this is the bread I'm going to be using for my sandwich, which is going to come out really good. So I really like that black pepper turkey. Um... So I don't have a lot in here. I do have ragu for, what do you call it, for during the week. Mayonnaise up there. A can of tamales, just in case somebody wants some. I have to get some more ravioli. I have to get rid of those crackers. They've been up there, like, for way too long. And I have noodles. Um, some more to make mascarpone. I bought the King Arthur's self-rising flour, but I wanted the bread flour, and they didn't have it. So I'm hoping, if and when I try to make pizza, that this will work, even though I got a feeling it might not, but we're going to give it a go. Um, over here, I just have bread, hamburger, muffins, and hot dog bread. And, of course, oh, it's up there. I have to run to the store. I have to get some, what do you call it? And here, these apples have been, like, here forever. No one's eating them. I got to get some more lemons, limes, and definitely more potatoes. So that's what I'm doing for lunch right now. And, um, and this is done. I'm going to shut this off. And, uh, yeah, I'm going to get going on my sandwich and I'm going to sit down and eat, and then I'll probably end up going to the um, to the store just to get odds and ends. But that's it. And then we'll see how the rest of the evening goes. Okay, guys. So this is what it came up with. I didn't put no tomato in here, so it's just like turkey, lettuce, turkey, uh, Polish ham. And salami. Mm. As you can see, I already ate some of it because I was really hungry. But um, next time I'll make it. The only thing, reason I didn't really want to post it or show it because I was missing some cheese in there. I really, really, really wanted some cheese in there. But next time I'll put some um, cheese and tomatoes. I'm having some sour cream and onion chips, which I already had earlier, and I shouldn't really be eating this these mini chips, but I've been working out every day, so I'll be okay. As long as you work out every day, you should be able to eat almost whatever you want. Not all the time, but almost. Hmm. I think I put too much lettuce. <laughs> mm. I usually don't put mayonnaise I had um made a pasta salad a chicken pasta salad and I put mayonnaise Ugh. it was good but it didn't make me feel good <laughs> well the next day all these weird sounds were coming from my, my, my tummy. And I'm like, what the heck? And it was kind of embarrassing because I went to go see someone. I went to go visit someone. Um, a friend of my grandson's. And he wanted to go over and visit his friend. And I was there where, you know, two grandmas, you know, just shooting the breeze 
and there was my stomach just making all these weird noises. I'm like, okay, this is embarrassing. You um, I know she was able to hear it, you know, There's nothing I can do. And I was trying to hurry up and, and try to get out of there as fast as I could, but you know how kids are. They just want to play with each other and play with each other. I was like, okay. I'm going to stick this out. It is what it is. Nothing I can do about it. So. It was like almost like getting close to 3 o'clock. And I'm like, I got to go. I, I can't. I can't sit here no more. It's, you know, I'm, I'm talking to myself. It's bothering me. I really want to go home. I really have to go to the bathroom. I can't sit here no more. So, I finally told my grandson, we got to go. We got to go. Um, he wants to drink pop at the last minute. I'm like, oh, Jesus. I'm like, okay. And then the lady was like, you know, Jonathan's um, grandmother. I got pop. I got pop. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I'm like, I mean, to have to sit down all over again. I was ready to walk out the door, like, seriously. So, she poured him a cup of pop. She asked me if she, if I wanted some, and I said, yes, maybe the, the pop will help ease my stomach. Um, I took the pop as well. It was, uh, Kind of like a habadito, habadito, orange pop. You know, I drank it. I drank it as fast as I could. <laughs> but, um, you know, I didn't want to seem overly anxious to run out the door. <laughs> so, I finally finished it. And, again, I had to sit down again. And talk a little bit more and I didn't notice that my grandson took off on me again and they went to the back to the backyard I was finished with my pop I said okay let me go get this kid I'm like where did he disappear to and I call him okay I told him gotta go gotta go and um plus I had I don't know, beef stew that I was cooking that I had to hurry up and come back to. Not, you know, that I was, it was on the stove or anything like that. I had put, I put it in the oven. And then I cooked it when I got back. Mm. So then, <laughs> as soon as I finally, we finished our pop, got my grandson back. And then she offers to drive me, drive me home. <laughs> I was like, no, that's okay, I'm fine. You know, we'll walk. No, no, no. So she totally <laughs> insisted on driving me home. <laughs> again, I had to sit down again. <laughs> I'm like, no, I'm trying to go home. I gotta go to the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> and, um, so, no, 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 I'll take you home, don't worry, no, it's not far, it's just walking distance, I'm right over here, no, no, I'll take you, all right, all right, so be it, we finally got in the car, <laughs> and then she finally took me home, and she was like, oh, this is a far walk, I know, no, it's not really far, I mean, I'm, I'm used to walking this all the time because I take my grandkids to school. And her house is like kitty corner right from the school, um, right on the next block where the school grounds end. And so to me, it wasn't far at all. But, um, yeah. <laughs> she finally dropped me off. And I was like, ah, oh, finally. <laughs> so, and then she wanted to like, Um, why don't you come tomorrow morning and I'll make you breakfast? And I was like, okay. <laughs> I'm like, no, 
that's okay. I mean, another time, you know, when me and my grandson wake up early, we'll come over there. I'll, I'll give her the heads up. And yeah, I'll, I'll take her up on it, you know. The kids can have breakfast together. Okay, so I'm done, guys. That's it. You know, it was a good sandwich. I really, really do like pepper turkey. I don't know what it is. Maybe it's the hotness of it, the pepper of it. But when you make a whole big sandwich, and I'm going to do that. I'll probably do it during the week. I'll put it, probably make a short out of it with chips on the side. It's really, really hefty, like an RB sandwich. You know, it's really hefty, and it's really good, and it's really filling. So, yeah, let me just grab oh, a napkin here. Or a towel, really. I always have towels all the time. I wipe my mouth. But, um, yeah. So, <laughs> that's where we're at. <laughs> Haven't washed my hair yet. I probably won't wash my hair until tomorrow because it's like it's everywhere but um yeah I'll probably yeah I'll wash my hair tomorrow it's already late it's already late. well it's not really that late but it is too, it's gonna be too but lunch for me was good so happy with it and um yeah I'm gonna take a chill then I have to I have to run to the store later but I'm gonna relax for a little bit because this was because of my eating habit, I'm trying to change it. I'm trying not to eat too heavy. So, <sighs> okay. All right. So, like I said, I'm working on my workout. So, you know, I'm working on, on this area. And it's working. But, you know, it's tiring at the same time. Okay, guys. So, that's it. And we will catch you guys later. Bye.